Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to compress your video files from very large um, MKVs or MP4s down to a fraction of the size like um, uh, Yiffy, I don't know how to pronounce that, Y-I-F-Y, and Joy Bell does. Uh, but I'm going to show you the easy way without um, having to go through all those complicated setups. What we're going to use is a program called FFmpeg YAG. Uh, I'm not sure what that stands for, but it is what uh, what I use and it works perfectly. When you download it and install it, and the first time you open it up, it's going to give you two options. There's going to be one, it's called a, a high 10, or it'll give you the option of using just the regular FFmpeg. I always select the regular, and if you go into the actual program location where um, you'll see both files, one of them's uh, the FFmpeg, which is about 317 KB, compared to the High 10, which is almost 20 megabytes. Um, I still use the regular FFmpeg. As a matter of fact, what I do is I downloaded the uh, newest release from the FFmpeg website, and I used that one in place of the uh, 317 K. KB and I think it's like close to 40 megabytes but you'll, you'll notice a big difference so um, I'd recommend you do that and you can go ahead and delete the FFmpeg high 10 as well as the regular one that came with the program it's not going to cause the program to crash or anything you just won't be prompted to select which one to use anymore okay so let's get started Okay, when you go in here, this when you first load it, this will be your main menu. You'll see um, here you can select the format. It'll be MKV, uh, MP4, or whatever. Up here is where you can crop it, trim it down if you'd like. I never use this. I just leave everything as it is. And below you'll see the video. Uh, this is the codec you can use, 264 or 265, whichever you want. Here's the bitrate, 1800K is the default. I put mine up to 2700. You can also use CRF if you'd like. You also have the option to copy the video and only compress the audio. Like say for instance you have a, um, a, a FLAC or an Opus, maybe a DTS high definition audio file. And it's just too much for you. So um, you just want to compress that, but you want to leave the video untouched. So you select copy for the video and only change the um, audio settings. You can do vice versa. Same thing if you want to keep the audio and only compress the video. It works both ways. The bitrate, um, I leave it at 192K because everything over that, I've never noticed any difference. I don't really mess with these other two, the frequency or the channels, unless it's um, DTS and I want to go down to, um, or 8.1 and I want to go down to six channels. Here, you will have subtitles. So, um, you can copy them or you can have default. And if you have it default, which means that once you play the MKV file or MP4, the um, subtitles will automatically start. There is one thing I do need to tell you about this. If your subtitles are um, uh, PGS, you know, from Blu-ray, you will get an error if you try and have it as default. It'll give you like exception code one or something like that, and, and or um, there's another one I can't remember. It has to, it's something to do with DVD or something. Um, but if it's not SRT or ASS, um, then um, if it gives you like an exception error, uh, but like right at the very, very beginning, then switch it from default to copy. Then it, it'll copy over just fine. But trying to have it as a default will give you an error each time. I also wanted to show you right about here the... Um video frame size and aspect ratio. I don't use these at all, but if you are interested, uh, you can change the frame size. Like say for instance you have a 
2160p uh, 4K video that your TV absolutely will not play, you want to shrink it down to a 1080p. Now this is how you'll do it. Or if you have a, 10, a 1080p, you want it smaller to a 720p for like if you have a smaller television. This is exactly where you will do that. And the aspect ratio, so I'll tell you exactly what it, what that does, the tool tip for it, you know, stretching videos and all that good stuff. Um, 69, 43, and yeah, 2.35 is how uh, you'll do that. But again, I don't use these at all, but just letting you know there is an option for you to do that here. Okay, now when you right click anywhere in the gray area, it'll come up to presets. This is your little shortcut menu. Uh, presets, and you'll see that there's um, some predefined ones, some anime, and you'll see one that says uh, 2700K. Well, that's what I personally uh, set so that I can have it uh, automatically make whatever changes I want as soon as um, I click it. And all you have to do is set your own just make whatever changes you want, and once you uh, once you have it exactly the way you want, then you'd right click and go to save. And here you will click to add task to add your first uh, video. I'm going to browse, uh, earn a safe Christmas. This is what I'm going to use as an example. You right click on it, go to media info, which is an, a separate program, by the way. You'll see that this is 9.3 gigabytes. It runs a total of one hour, 31 minutes. And it has, um, you'll see um, the very high uh, uh, video bitstream, 14 megabits per second. Good English audio file, plus subtitles. Right now, it'll take a while. It's just going to build an index. Now, while this is building, I want you to notice that um, I changed the name of it uh, if, just because I, I wanted to show you an example, okay? Um, this is Ernest Saves Christmas, the year, format, etc., etc. It said this is a test for a very, 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 very long name. Um, okay, there's a reason why, because you will come across this at times where there's um, the file name's just too big and it doesn't really uh, give you an error. Uh, it's just going to kind of um, throw you off here and I'll show you here in, the, in a second. Just going to skip ahead. Okay, and here we go. Um, there's the original file name and here's all the information about it. The actual bit rate for the audio, I'm sorry, the video uh, as well as for the audio. Um, which also I like to point out, you see that it's only 218 which is close to 192 which I always have, uh, have it set at. When it's very close to what you're going to do, just copy it. There's no need to recompress it or anything, or recompile it. And of course the um, video is, the subtitles are um, default. Now you notice here where it says file, you can't even see the file name because it's too long and you, instead you have this um, scrolling bar. So what you do is you, you'll click in uh, this very small space right above the scroll bar and then you'll hit end key and then you'll arrow left four times and there's keep deleting backspacing until that bar goes away and you'll see that it's slowly taking away all of these other letters and now you can see where you're at because you can't have the same the same exact name as the file because it's going to um, try to overwrite it's going to give you an error so you can change it now and I'm just going to add a one to it just so it'll be a different file name and then once you click on encode, it will begin. And this will take um, probably about twice the length of the duration. Unless you um, were to select the codec as um, X265, which will take about, oh geez, I've seen them take up to six to eight hours. So uh, yeah, if you have 265, uh, you don't need as high of a, as a video bit rate, uh, but it will take a long time, but it will give you, you know, perfect picture quality. Okay, what I'm going to do now is show you something that I've already done. You're going to see the sizes here.
this is the original file, Wishmaster 1997 movie. You'll see that it's uh, almost 8 gigabytes, and it's for an hour and a half long. Here's the video details as well as the audio details. You'll see that it's FLAC, which is a pretty big file right there, and uh, 8 gigabytes, and this is what I've recompressed it to by the same settings you just saw. You'll see that now it's 1.79 gigabytes, still the same length. Um, and I showed you the video details below it for the video as well as the audio. And this is a to overall bitrate, which is 2851. Now let's take a look and compare the two, okay? Just so we can see uh, the difference in them. I'm going to start this up in VLC. And you'll no notice that the subtitles are playing. I'm just going to skip around so you can get an idea of what it looks like. See, the video quality is it's pretty good. It's a little grainy, but that's okay. It's it's an old movie because we're going to com compare it. But you see, it's really clear. It's not blocky at all, like a lot of file systems, or um, like a lot of videos are nowadays. That people just go into it, and well, I do a really bad it's a file of it. Now let's go ahead and watch the same thing in the original file, so you can see the the difference between the two. And we're going to try and skip up to the exact same spot where the last one was. And you'll see it's pretty much identical to the other one. Except for it's about four times as big a file. This is the original content um, compared to the um, compressed one. You'll see there's really no difference at all. See, there's a subtitles that um, will automatically come on. If um, you if you'll notice, there's no subtitles in that movie, but they are hidden in this, or they are included in the subfolder. And here, there's no subtitles at all. But most um, players, like on your TV, won't read this subfolder with the subtitles in it. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick, just to copy them into it, and it'll take about a minute or two. Let's close out of here. We're going to open up a program called MKV Toolnix. Free, another free download. And I'm going to drag and drop it over the file that I've just compressed. And you'll see below, um, it'll tell you everything about it the entries of the global tags and all that. I don't know what those mean. I just leave them alone. You can delete them if you want or uncheck them. Then you just right click, go to add files and then browse for your subtitles and it'll automatically insert them. Yeah, right down there you'll see them at the very bottom. You'll highlight them and we're going to set it for default track because I want it to um, automatically play. Or you can just leave it like it is and turn them on if you if you don't want it to automatically come on. You'll see that it copies over very fast. All it does is copy into the same file the subtitles so that you can have them with your new um, your new file. It takes about a minute, maybe maybe two, unless it's a very large file. I've seen that last about three minutes, sometimes four. Okay, and once it gets to zero percent, it'll be done, and your new file You'll, you'll notice the text it says English VOB sub Zlib, which means that subtitles are now in there. You'll see the first text stream, which means that you now have your um, subtitles embedded.
Hey everyone, um, there's one last thing I would like to talk to you all about. It's about increasing the audio for a video that you have that's just plain bad. Okay, say, um, yeah, you have a video um, and you have the volume up to 100% and you can st still barely hear anything. So, um, how can you fix this? Okay, uh, uh, here's a command that you can use. Let me increase this real quick. Here is a command that you can use. This will be your FFmpeg plus the directory, wherever it's at. Um, uh, minus I input would be the name of the video. Uh, the hyphen V codec, that's going to mean it's just going to address that and this is a toggle for it copy so that it's only going to copy the audio instead of re um, compiling it, re uh, processing it, okay? And the hyphen AF is for your volume. What we're going to do is set the volume up, okay? Um, if it's 1.0, that means your volume will be 100%. If your volume's like super, super loud and you have it just at point five it's going to decrease the volume down to half the the volume that it is but since we have a very low volume and we want to go to the very high volume I put this to 1.8 so it will increase the volume at a 180 percent and then the last of the command command line will be the output so the input would be the name of the video which will be before.mp4 and what's going to come out as is output which I would actually put in the code after.mp4 you can run that by uh, the command line and just put it in here paste it and then that will be it will run so but I'm not going to do that because I already did or you can put it into a batch file but whatever works best for you. If you do it in a batch file, you can also do it um, Tor. It'll um, go through a whole list of, um, like, if you have a bunch of small audio files that you would like to increase, instead of having to do each one separately, that's one of the good things that batch files are for. Let's listen to this um, before I made any changes. A guy walks into a bar, and behind the counter is signs of cheese sandwiches two dollars hand job ten dollars <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay right, so excuse me miss but are you the lady that gives the hand job she says yes i am he's gonna wash those hands and fix me a cheese sandwich <laughs> okay that's a little bob and tom for you and now let's go to after i've ran the code you notice that the audio was pretty low so let's go ahead and uh, see what it does now. A guy walks into a bar, and behind the counter are some signs of cheese sandwiches, two dollars, hand jobs, ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. right, so excuse me, miss, but are you the lady that gives the hand jobs? She says, Yes, I am. He's gonna wash those hands and fix me a cheese sandwich. <laughs> okay, um, you, you'll notice that the volume is so much better. And the after. Now you're gonna have to um, play around with it. The um, the volume command. Um, I didn't come to 1.8 just as it was. I started out with like 1.2, then I went to 1.4, then I jumped up to six, and then when I got to eight, I figured that was that, that was the um, finished video that I was happy with. So 1.8 was what I did for this one. Um, Sometimes if you go, you have to go higher, and sometimes you don't even need to go as high. There was this episode of, um, uh, what was that show? Uh, the Good Wife. I had the volume up full blast, 100% on my TV, and I still could not hear um, half of the words that were being said. I actually uh, remember how much it was had 18 point something. That's what I ended up having to, to um, put in to make it come out tour it was equal to all the other video files that I had
but um, yeah, this is the command for it. And unfortunately, there's no way to do this in the program that I just showed you, the FFmpeg YAG. It's not an option yet. Hopefully, it will be in the future. But um, if you need to increase the audio, this is the command to do it. And I'll put it down there in the um, description so you can just copy and paste it. It'll be easier for you. Okay, well, um, that's all I have for you this time in this video. I uh, thank you for watching. If you don't mind, uh, please subscribe and leave a comment and hit the thumbs up for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.